Alright guys, I just got kicked off. I didn't connect to the Wi-Fi and I guess my phone wasn't cutting it, so I'm going to try this again. Uh, basically, just wanted to come live because I haven't heard from some of you in a while. So I thought we'd just chit chat, talk about toys or stuff going on. Uh, also, I noticed I have a project going on in my bedroom. I have toys, bags and bags of loose and new toys all over the floor. So I'm going to pull out bookshelves and I'm going to rearrange and put shelves to the walls and make room. And then I noticed, man, I have hundreds, hundreds of uh, <clears throat> little loose action figures all over the place. So I thought we'd open up a couple packages <clears throat> and we'd go through some of the stuff I forgot I had, which is pretty ridiculous, right? What's up, buddy? Hello, Miss Patty. Hello. <clears throat> so I was just talking about my horrible, horrible addiction. <laughs> And I'm about to get into a project where I'm going to redo my bedroom so my shelves are on the wall instead of bookshelves to make more room. But I have literally hundreds of loose and new toys all over the floor right now. So some of them I forgot what were, what they were. <clears throat> Hello. So I'm going to open up a couple packages and go through some of the stuff I forgot I've had. But uh, you shall see here. If I can get this to play. <clears throat> can you hear uh can y'all hear the music in the background? <clears throat> anyway, like I was saying, I have a ton of toys all over the house. And I've forgotten what most of them are, so I thought we'd go through them. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I'd play a little music in the background so I'm not so boring. So I want to go through a couple packages and uh, go through a bunch of toys that are laying around that I forgot I had. So this will be the first one. This was an eBay purchase. I won the bid for like a couple bucks. And it's a... TMNT figure. It just came in. That's why I'm opening it real quick. Hey, what's up, Josh? Thank you for coming by, brother. Appreciate it. Just uh, Ryan Jones, Jetta Patrol. How you doing, buddy? Just uh, gonna cover some of my recent purchases and my uh, hoarding toys and everything that are all over the house. <clears throat> Hello, hello, Mina. Hi there. So this is a 92 slash TMNT. I actually already have this figure. And I'm not going to be covering just a bunch of vintage, so I promise not to bore you all. But this one came in, and it's I have this, but not as good as this figure is in. And I want it for like $2. I don't know if any of y'all like the vintage turtles. Yeah. Pick this up at a flea market. This is Toy Biz thing. 2002. It's one of my favorites. That Toy Biz came out with a couple that are similar. Where the, they have uh, grabbing hands and stuff. This one, the hands are wide open. <clears throat> but this is a good one. been trying to collect all my common yeah I'm, I'm happy to slowly grab some of these toy biz every now and then still trying to put together the new wave of Rick and Morty so picked this one up recently it's gonna go through stuff randomly as I come across it shout out to my buddy Wes Dotson he uh, donated to me the left leg I needed to finish onslaught so Onslaught is complete. I just need to get that Kitty Pride uh, alternate head sculpt with the Magneto helmet. I have Kitty Pride, but I got her loose, so I don't have that helmet. But he's complete now, and he's pretty awesome. <clears throat> A 
couple of Simpson Playmates come across in a flea market. And since I posted that flea market, I actually hit another flea market. <laughs> I got another flea market video that's going to go up later this evening. <clears throat> Let's see here. A couple of comic book shop purchases. Some family guy, Brian and Ray Gun Stewie. Happy to land these fellers. One of my favorite cartoons, so I want to try to put that together. Later. Later. <laughs> Pitch Perfect, it's my wife's favorite, one of my, her favorite movies. So I was at a Ross and I ran into Fat Amy. I don't know if y'all have seen these, she's really funny. Got it for a few bucks. So I do collect some pops. <laughs> this says a set of three on this Zorn. I have two of them now. I got this one for a dollar or two at a Toys R Us that was closing, so. I just need one more. And the one I need is at, for $2.50, $2.50 at Walmart, so. Luckily, I got found Beastman uh, to my visiting to Corpus Christi, so I ended up getting Beastman. So I'm one closer on my uh, Masters of the Universe figures. I think Patty saw this one at a Fye once, right? Finally got him. <clears throat> also got the Hot Topic exclusive Scary Terry. He's in his underwear and his skibbies. If anybody's ever seen that episode, it's pretty funny. But I, I got him. A lot of people are looking for this one right now. <clears throat> Every time I go up to San Antonio or higher, I hit the five belows because all these uh, collect and connect figures for multiverse are five dollars at the five and below. So I have. Uh, this uh, Wonder Woman already, and then I got the new Wonder Woman now with her ceremonial robe, clothing and stuff. So I got this for five bucks, as opposed to 20 at <laughs> Toys R Us. <clears throat> got some uh, collectible vinyls. As you can see uh, SpongeBob, if anybody's into SpongeBob. I got them just because they were cheap. They were 75% off, so it was like a dollar some each. Yeah, that's a good one. They actually did really well with their head sculpt. Some of them are ugly, but this one's not bad. They did pretty well. <clears throat> Literally, let me show you. I just have bags and bags and bags of loose stuff all over. Ridiculous. This is a good one. This is Weapon X Toy Biz Legends. I just need the little helmet, but I got the back piece and everything. This was a good find. You can see all the. It's when they did the toe and finger articulation. But this one looks awesome. He's in great shape too. I just need to get the helmet. <clears throat> Another yeah. toy biz. It's the brown music. outfit. Listen anywhere, He's also anytime. in great shape. To Got him loose. One of the brown outfit toy biz Wolverines. It's actually one of my favorites Start also. He's in great shape. I already opened him up, but this is Pizza Spidey that came in the vintage line. Very happy to land Pizza Spidey. I want to get him on cart also and keep him closed, but I like that uh, 
partially unmasked face. <clears throat> Started collecting the animated series DC also, so we got the Riddler. These are really expensive, so when I find them for 10 bucks or so, I make sure to grab them. They're pricey. <clears throat> Started getting some of the Diamond Select. Ghostbusters, Race Dance, played by Dan Aykroyd. It's a pretty good likeness to the head sculpt, but uh, he's complete with his, what is it, a uh, proton pack. It's a good looking fig. <clears throat> Another real nice, heavy, heavy toy is the Penguin. This is also from the, the new animated series. And I got all his accessories and everything. He's really good looking. I got his umbrella. Speaking of the vintage line, I'm using them with the unmasked. This is the, the new vintage Wolverine. So I've got the Toy Biz brown suit and I got the new version so Wolverines are on a come up plus Weapon X <clears throat> here's one of the original Toy Biz Weapon X I got him loose but complete with the helmet this is an early 90s piece Started collecting some of the Blackest Night, Green Lantern, Wave. These two are from the Black Lantern Corps. They're bad, <laughs> as you can tell. <clears throat> so, let me show those again. Again, I'm collecting is all the Wolverines I can get a hold of. Plus Weapon X. Some of them are the Toy Biz version. Watch the original Heroes TV series. It's a good one. This one's Peter Petrelli when he's uh, his invisible powers, and so he's transparent, translucent. Pick these up for a few dollars on eBay every now and then, trying to slowly complete that wave. Got a few vintage figures. Fisto, 80s E Man. Triceratops. Made a deal with uh, for a couple of these alien Kenner figures. Shout out to my buddy uh, David Blucher for the trades. Got several of these 80s and early 90s with accessories. These are TMNT Wave. They did some pretty crazy stuff in the end of the early 90s. Here's from the uh, Apollo 11 mission. They did all four turtles. He is, uh, this is Leo. They made all four in this outfit, but I got Leo right now. He's in great shape with all the accessories. <clears throat> Wing nut complete. It's also one of my favorites. He just looks really cool with the wings. From the Universal Monsters, they did all four turtles as monsters. This one's Mikey as Frankenstein. Very happy to pick up this piece. 
I already covered this, but finally completed Onslaught. So I want to give a shout out to Wes Dotson for donating the left leg. Still, all I needed was the left leg, and brother came through for me. Sticking with some vintage. We got Ralph Macchio. This is an early 80s piece from the Karate Kid toy line. Okay, this is a trade I did with my buddy Bruce Campbell. And Mr. Campbell made me an awesome trade with for these garbage bill mini figs, the vinyls. I love these guys. Another vintage is gonna be Coneheads. This is in his light outfit, space gear. Got this one. This is the wife. Primate. I've got some of those new on card also. Got some more vintage turtles. We're gonna have all these. Several He-Man and Turtle vintage. Grizzlor. Bebop, 80s and 90s. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to come on real quick online and show you some of the stuff. Like I said, I'm pulling this out of my room. About to do a bunch of construction in the room, set up my shelves so I have more room. But I wanted to just go through stuff I've been, it's been laying around. So bless you all. Thank you for taking the time to say hi. Peace.